What's up guys? No normal video here. I'm making this as a briefing for a large scale event we're going to be doing called the Grand Tour. This is the first time we'll be doing something like this, so we'll make adjustments if needed later to make things run more smoothly. The number one rule here is nobody reports their killers. If you get killed, stay off the brackets. Rule number two is fun. We are just doing this to get some practice in for large group play and we expect lots to go wrong, so just try and have fun with it either way. The gist is this will be a protect the president sort of game mode where it's it's also a race. Both sides will set their spawns to Everest Harbor. You can buy med guns and armor here, but not guns. If you guys think you'll need guns, then you'll need to bring and prep all of that before time. Both teams will pick a specific person as their president or VIP, where this person will be in a multi-crew ship specifically that can hold at least one SCU worth of cargo at all times and make their way to specific points of interest. At each point of interest, this person will get a screenshot or clip of them holding a burrito and a drink both with the point of interest in the background so one shot with a burrito and one shot with a drink i know this sounds stupid but there's a reasoning to this it's placeholder basically for any kind of important event where they might be dropping off something that we don't want people to drop off or otherwise landing where we don't want someone to land and doing something we don't want them to do and since there's armistice zones here we can't allow them to actually land there and fight them otherwise we're going to be getting crime stats and we want to avoid crime stats so this is the way we're going to try and avoid all of that as long as you are on the ground and you have two screenshots or clips one with you having a burrito in your hand and the other with you having a drink in your hand while both of these screenshots have that point of interest specifically in the background you're good before we start both teams will have their vips at everest harbor and on go they will travel to the comms array for Kirsten. Only the VIPs need to go to the comms array. We'll discuss that more later. Then from the comms array to their predetermined points of interest. The points of interest will be on the moons of Hurston. It's going to be HDMS Perlman on Magda, HDMS Lathan on Ariel, and HDMS Anderson on Aberdeen. You will go to each of these locations, land, and get your screenshots without entering the armistice zones of those locations. If you think you cannot land and take those shots without dying, then you better clear the air. If your president has people following constantly, then you better eliminate those people. If you land and you get hit with a torpedo and a dumb shot, then you just shouldn't have landed yet. That's all there is to it. The only rule here is no electromagnetic missiles unless it comes from ballistas, otherwise there are no rules. Sort of. You can have people waiting ahead of time if you want, and you can start fighting as soon as you want, but both have one condition. Everything starts at Everest Harbor. If you want to drop a ballista on the ground or have someone waiting ahead of time, then they need to start at Everest Harbor when the VIPs are there and haven't started yet. Then on go, they can go wherever they want once the VIPs are heading towards the comms array. The only location where there is no fighting is inside the Everest Harbor armistice zone and generally around Everest Harbor. Literally everything else applies, except if we find you stream sniping, you'll be barred from future events like this and everyone will think you are an asshole. If we get three 30Ks, the event is over. We don't want to waste people's time. If the presidents crash or otherwise cause problems, problems, a multi-crew member of the same ship can take over. If there is nobody there to take over, then treat it as if they died and go hunt the other team's president. If the game bugs and doesn't allow you to move your inventory, then take two separate screenshots 10 seconds apart with the point of interest in the background, same as if you had had that burrito or drink in your hand. And if you cheat or screw things up intentionally in any way, you're a dick and all you're going to be doing is wasting people's time. This is a one life event, but we will be doing multiple rounds as long as the game will let us or until we get bored. Setup number one is that both teams will move in a predetermined route around the moons of Hurston. Team one will go clockwise from Everest to Hurston's Comare, to Everdeen, to Ariel, to Magda, then back to Everest. You do not need to go to the comms array on your way back. Team two will go counterclockwise from Everest to Hurston comms array, to Magda, to Ariel, to Aberdeen, back to Everest. Again, you do not need to stop at the comms array on the way back. The first VIP of the two groups to make it back to the hangar call-in modules at Everest Harbor wins. If one team loses their VIP, it's not over as you can still knock out the other team's VIP before they finish. Either one team wins this or both lose in this type of event. There's also a second way that we could do this. We're going to just call it setup two. It's essentially the same, but you get to pick what location you want to go to first and in what order. As long as you go to each of the locations and get back to Everest first, you win. But again, there's a reason why it's called setup two. We're going to try setup one where there's the actual set route ahead of time first. Any questions leave in the comments or ask on the appropriate discord channels. Check the description for any amendments. If we do think of something, there will be a final brief on the day 
of which is October 15th, by the way, 1 p.m. Eastern US time. Again, there will be that final brief before we start where we will go over everything one more time as well. And again, pay attention to the correct Discord channels in case anything changes. Otherwise, that's all for now. This should be really fun. Nolan out.